Hey guys, how's it going? Brian here. So I've been reading a lot about like specs, stuff like that, and kind of the feedback that I've been getting on, uh, you know, the specs that I've come up with. Because it's very important. Usually in this game, um, you know, even, even, I think I know almost all there is to know about what stuff is on the talent tree and all that good stuff. And, you know, I feel I have pretty good impression, pretty good specs, pretty good efficiency in my specs. But, you know, you always want to look at the feedback. Uh, you know, having a second person look at your build, giving you some advice, um, you know, there's, there's really nothing to lose. So, you know, because my specs are so public, I take the liberty in looking at all the feedback myself. And, you know, a lot of stuff that I see is in regards to uh, people saying that, you know, Crip's making all these gear-based specs that I can't do, you know, I don't have the gear, and I have this. You know, people are correct, but that is um, that is intentional. That is behind the theory of what's going on. You know, I kind of want to uh, iterate this so uh, people can understand the concept behind making a character and designate it to a particular league. So first, before I get started, yes, there are a lot of overpowered builds, a lot of like very very strong builds that require nearly nothing. You know, if you if you get a chain gem, you just you know make pretty much any character that you want. You just pick a witch if you want, even and uh, you combine it with lightning arrow, you stack the elemental damage, or you stack the physical damage, and you pretty much plow through everything. Uh, you, make, you can make a summoner, it'll be slow, but you know, it's fairly straightforward. You can make a spark totemer. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, that's from the ground up, it'll be very strong all the way through. There's a lot of stuff, you know, even, even ethereal knives, even freezing policy, build it correctly, very, very easy to do. Now, the reason why I don't do those builds is because, um, one, you don't have to. It's a permanent league where you have a lot of items, you have a lot of time to obtain items to make uh, a very crappy spec very overpowered in the late game. And, um, you know, two, I kind of like that sense of discovery. So, um, you know, the reason I don't play a lot of these very popular builds is because I know exactly what to expect. Um, I like to kind of make my own builds uh, if they're a little bit different. It's a little bit hipster. Hipster Crip is making some hipster specs. But, you know, in the end, that sense of discovery, that sense of, um, you know, acknowledgement that, uh, that my, my, my hypothesis with spec kind of worked out in the end, um, it, it's, it's, really, it's really something that, uh, that adds to uh, the game that I play. And I know a lot of you guys have the same sense, but, uh, you know, some others don't really care. Some others just like to try specs that look fun, that look overpowered, and that's completely understandable as well. But with me, because I have so much time to spend, uh, because I've already explored so many parts of the game, I am typically going to be making uh, a bunch of like you know bullshit specs based on gear and that kind of stuff because it is a permanent leak. So you know when it comes to making a character in like a one week race or a three hour race or something like that, it's going to be significantly more straightforward and is largely going to be based on the kind of uh, gear and uh, you know gems that I can actually realistically expect to get. Uh, within that given amount of time, uh, not so much a permanent league. A permanent league for me is a place where I can make a character that uh, uses very peculiar kinds of gear or scales strongly in the late game, um, uses very specific gear and benefits from a lot of stats that you can expect to see on this good gear. Because in the end, um, you know, when I do these one week races, when I do the one hour races, the three hour races, all the good stuff that, you know, Path of Exile has planned in the future. You know, I want these characters to be temporary and they would funnel the gear or some kind of currency or something in general to the permanent character that I plan to play with uh, in the league that is essentially, you know, all these things are being funneled to. So that's kind of the idea. Um, I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, play hardcore, play a little bit, tend to die, like to experiment with builds every now and then. And I just want you guys to keep this in mind because it is important. Um, when it comes to a permanent league, you kind of want to be trying these cool things. You want to be trying these uh, builds that scale in the late game, these builds that are gear reliant intentionally, because you know you're not going to get uh, a chance to do that so easily in uh, a race scenario, which is you know the other side of play, which we'll hopefully see in the near future of the game. That's about it, guys. Hope you guys are having fun in Path of Exile, at least at least as much as I am, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.